blinkers. 1,600 meters. Races on from the 1,600 meter marker. Fisher King is lost the first call. On the outside, bend the rules. Fleet-footed out the machine by a length. Straight up is second. Prince of Taranto at the paint. Blue sleeves and cap. The dark blue sleeves and cap third. Chatterton's keeper on the prowl and wants to move around and burns to lead. There goes Chatterton's keeper. His favorite role is pacemaker and he's going to go off and set the fractions. Spider's corner midway back in the yellow. Oh my word, it's Way towards the inside. Then we have Gun Smoke. Fisher King is the trailer. Approaching the 800 and Chatterton's keeper now rolling along goes by three. Back in second, bend the rules straight up. Prince of Taranto's are waiting fourth. Three quarters of the way back on the outside, Spider's Corner. Oh my word, it's Roy gets a taste of the bridle. Then we have Gun Smoke and Fisher King the trailer. Chatterton's keeper, homeward bound, whips them in by two. Back in second, bend the rules. Prince of Taranto's going to go in for a run. Fisher King's trying to close in straight up in Spider's Corner. Chatterton's keeper at the 200. Prince of Taranto's three parts of a length away. Fisher King's on the inside. Prince of Taranto has fire in his eyes and this is Bullseye. Prince of Taranto. The crowd cheers. Chatterton's keeper second. Fisher King in behind these runners. One Prince of Taranto from four Chatterton's keeper. Seven Fisher King and then came Gunsmoke. Number one, Prince of Taranto. The money flooded on. Muzieni strikes a pose. And that's it. Game, set, match. Ring up the register. Two rand sixty blasts away. The Tony Ribbon stable for a host of connections. Chatterton's keeper second. Fisher King. Then came Gunsmoke. Bend the rules. Spider's Corner. Prince of Taranto was always just stalking, waiting. Chatterton's keeper, he burns to lead. He only knows one way. And Muzieni, hands and heels, a flick or two. And coming to the last hundred meters, he says, let's go. There's a lot at stake here. And Prince of Taranto, the crusade for the Clifton Stud, the Revolves, Butchers, Main Gods, Nerics, Rivellins. Muziani will bring home a very popular winner, number one, Prince of Taranto, fired up. I've said it all day, I've said that the atmosphere on course is absolutely electric. To have the crowds back in full force is wonderful and to hear the roar of the crowd when Prince of Taranto came into the winner's enclosure. I'm going to ask them to do it again because they've all backed Prince of Taranto. Let's hear from the crowd. There we go. That's what it's all about. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you to the punters and to the public that come to the races and support us. Congratulations to you, Patrick. Well done. You've got the same name as the owner, one of the owners, Patrick, so you'll be thrilled and he'll be thrilled. Your horse looked outstanding. Yes, thanks for having me. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. A thousand rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. It's also wonderful to have um, Kamal Studs, Brett Van Lawn to join in the presentation. We want to talk to Muzi. Uh, he'll be coming back in a moment. The crowd are calling him. The crowd are wanting him. But let's talk to Tony in the meantime. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it, the, the atmosphere is just unbelievable. You have to be here to experience it. And whether we win or we lose, to have the crowds here and to have the atmosphere is just phenomenal. Yeah, well, it's wonderful that when the punters back the favourite and it wins, eh? Because that's what it's about. We need them to be backing winners and horses that are fancy. And, and hopefully they can win a bit of money so they can keep coming back and keep keep the machine turning over, you know. But I'm delighted with this win because it's a lot of good friends that are involved in this horse with me. And um, he's been a very nice horse to train. He's been unlucky many times. Um, he should have most probably been a five or six time winner by now already. I couldn't see him getting beat. And then we had a hiccup in the week. The jock fell off and he ran up the bank and hurt his foot. It's been a 50-50 all weekend. So, you know, under pressure. But um, well done to Nikki Hall. She, she's come and worked. She's got a lot of equipment and she's helped me a lot with the horse this week. To Peter Blah, Natal Breeder, old esteemed Natal Breeder, been here a long time. He's had a hell of a good day, and I'm delighted for him and Clifton Stud. 
and what more can I say? Great, great team effort as well. Um, I'm a tough man to, to be around, as you know. You know, I'm, everything's got to be perfect with me, otherwise I get very miserable. And um, so, yeah, I'm delighted. And it's what a wonderful day. This Breeders' Day always attracts a lot of people. There's always a lot of atmosphere. And that's what racing needs. People here, a bit of atmosphere and a vibe. So, wonderful. Well, we're getting it here in KwaZulu Natal, and we're getting it in a big way. Before you run away, thanks for your feedback, because we did interview you for the yeah. show. You were on the show, and as Graham said, you didn't want to know the horse getting beat. You told everybody Great. you would be disappointed, and you're in the winner's enclosure. Well done to you and your team, because you had him. He looks to be a bit of a fierce guy, but he, he certainly won well for you. Well done, Tony. Thanks a lot. Thank you. There's a... Uh, don't run away there's Brett uh, Brett's there with your trophy there yeah, there we go from Kamag start to present uh, Tony Riverland ladies and gentlemen we welcome Mercy Yeni into the winners area and uh, you heard from the crowds around the uh, winners area singing your praises shouting for you and it's just wonderful because yes we know it's a tough game and it's hard to win and we like to win and you've made lots of people including these very happy owners here well done no thank you very much i need their support on saturday <laughs> for that uh, a lovely lovely horse i think he's underrated uh, the feel he gave me down the feel i got going down to the start i said impeccable i couldn't see him getting beat and uh, obviously pole position makes it easy you don't have to panic you can just come out make sure he's, he's, he's keeping his spot but settled and done everything like a professional smart little horse I think is underrated I uh, think there's much more in the tank well done to you a good solid ride nice uh, lightweight and uh, you've brought the uh, well-backed horse home congratulations to you and in this week that's so special to all of us in horse racing we wish you and your family all the very best thank you very much huge thanks to kids that in uh, breeders I don't want to take their spotlights so they make this day really really enjoyable they put money back in the game and phenomenal great and one of my special horses the race is dedicated to got the green light so just well done oh, to Mr. Von Loon. Lovely that he's managing him. And to all the connection of this beautiful horse, uh, it's much more to come. Thanks for the opportunity. Congratulations, Muzi. Well Thank done. You. That's Muzi Yeni. Dynamite comes, no doubt, in small packages. Who's representing their owners? Neil Butcher, come through to the winner's area, Neil. And uh, if anybody else wants to have a word after Neil, you're most welcome to come through. It's your time, and it's your time to enjoy. Well done. What a lovely band of owners. Well, as Tony says, you know, he trains for friends and family. Uh, we had about 25 people in the ring. It's wonderful. That's what racing's all about. Neil, he's a big, strong son of C uh, Crusade, and he's a lovely horse. He's a galloper, and you could see halfway up the straight when Muzi went in, it was race over in two strides. Well, we were worried that he came in, you know. I don't know why he did. Tony said he should have stayed on the fence, but he, he knows better than we do. So I'm, I'm never going to criticise Muzi. Look, he was a winner without a penalty the last time he got badly balked. So I, we were very... I suppose very confident today. Things worked out and, you know, thanks to the breeders for what they've done for us today. Uh, it's been a wonderful afternoon. Everybody's having a lot of fun and great to get all the people at racing again. So Isn't it it's wonderful? Great. It's, great. It's, it's fantastic. For you, you, your support and all your hard work, we thank you and it's lovely having you in the winner's box. Thank you very much. Thank you. Neil Butcher and uh, Brett Van Lorn with the trophy and uh, well done to absolutely everybody concerned here with Prince of Trent. If there's anybody else that wants to say a word, please come forward. But Pete, Come on, Clifton Stud, let's talk again. A wonderful day that you're having, and wow, this is, this is what dreams are made of. I know it's, it's, it may not be Group 1 level, but it's, it's a great day nevertheless. It's fantastic, Warren. I tell you what, um, I want to thank uh, Tony for buying the horses he has from me. He's supported me big time, and, uh, you know, they've done well. Uh, you know, he had a win earlier this week out of the same dam as this mare. Unfortunately, I've lost the mare, but uh, that's, race, that's breeding. But... Uh, absolutely delighted and thanks to everybody who supported us we really appreciate it lovely congratulations here's your fellow breeder and colleague brett van lawn to give you the uh, give you the trophy well done that's uh, phenomenal yes absolutely as many pictures as you want uh, to record the marriage brett you've had a word with graham and wow you must say that you've got to be impressed with the buzz and and and, and the vibe in the ring yeah it's great to see the crowd here also a great result I must say I was very happy Peter bred the winner because uh, from the word go when I was putting the word out to the KZN breeders who's interested in got the green light, Peter's been a stalwart from the beginning. Uh, he, he put his, uh, he wrote the check and he said let's go even before we had him, that's how confident he was. And uh, he, uh, I've actually lost count, he keeps on phoning me for more and more bookings. I think he's up to like 17 mares of his farm or something ridiculous. I said, Peter, you got to share this also with some other breeders. <laughs> so he's a real stalwart with uh, Got the Green Light and uh, yeah, I'm very happy that uh, he won the sponsored race. Well done. Red Fun Lawn and uh, he's excited, he's happy, he's uh, why not? 
as I keep saying, don't think you think it's getting exciting now. The big one's still to come. The next race, the big uh, Breeders' Mile, and that's going to be a phenomenal race. But that interview will see you in the front of the grandstand. So make your way to the front of the grandstand to celebrate the winners of the next race.